Hey everyone, how you all doing? Welcome to day two of seven days to sacred self-care journey with me. I hope you managed to catch yesterday's day one where we um, where you'll be practicing all the things that we learned yesterday and you're steaming ahead and carrying on with those practices and incorporating them into your life. And if you are and you're saying yes to that, I know you're lying because I actually didn't do a day one. <laughs> I actually got caught up with so much work yesterday. Um, there were some tech problems, there were some personal issues going on. I was um, uh, doing a consultation on a project that I'm going to be starting. And by the time I got home, it was there was no time to actually do it and I was really exhausted. So I know it's an excuse, but really I would love you to forgive me for not creating the, um, for the day, day one video. And today is going to be the day one video and we are going to steam ahead with that instead today. So the sacred self-care journey is all about taking care of yourself because as I said in my original video to get this thing started, that I didn't, I didn't realise I'd slipped into this funk of not exercising, not eating properly, um, not taking care of myself and really feeling low and it felt like a spiralling down of low energy and lack of ideas and just being in a really strange place for me because I'm normally up and running and I'm doing my you know daily practices and stuff like that which I have actually started again since I made that video but I'm going to take you on the journey um, so you can actually incorporate some of the things that I do and some of the things that my clients have decided to do as well and it's working for them in their lives so the very first thing I'd like you to do is to find yourself a beautiful journal. Any journal, sorry, any journey is um, it's a good idea to record the journey. And if you notice, if you're a personal development junkie, then you will know that um, everybody says start a journal. All my clients start a journal. And um, the idea behind the journal is to actually look at your progress, look at where you've started, and look at where you are, um, you know, all the different stages, feelings, ideas, um, uh, aha moments, down moments that you actually write in your journal and all the gratitude as well. You write these things in your journal and then when you look back, you see how far you've come and how you've progressed and all the successes. And it really gives you a boost when you look back at you, where you've, how far you've come. And um, what I have is, I've got a little sheet that I use with my clients called my success journal. And in this sheet, I explain how to do an effective journal or effective journaling. And the best thing to do first is to find yourself a journal that you actually would love to write in. So this is one of mine that I had from previous years. It's got a lovely texture. It makes, it inspires me for when I want to, um, write in it, it you know I keep it by my bedside um, and it's like okay so I can't wait to you know touch it feel it and look at the notes in there and it makes me feel good to want to write in it so this this year's journal is this one it's a nice big chunky one and on the front it says it's a perfect day and every day I know is going to be a perfect day this is what I want okay the last one I called um, uh, dear universe that's the the, the one I, I the name I called it so it's a good idea to, idea to give it a name so that you can connect with it it's personal and um, you know it just gives it's like you're talking to another person or talking to yourself so some ideas for giving your journal a name actually let me put my glasses on instead of being vain I'll put my glasses on uh, my success journal um, you could call it Fred, you could call it the Oracle, you call it my friend John, oh ancient secret one. Give it a really nice name that you can re resonate with. Um, and you don't actually have to so show this journal to anyone. So you can write in there whatever you want to write in there. Really sort of be, um, you know, pour out your heart into your journal, okay? Um, and then in section one, I've got like, there's three sections that I, I like to... Well, actually, there's two, two sections, but then each day there's a there's a little thing at the end. So the first section is where you where you are now, right? Where you are now, and then you write in there every single thing that you're complaining about. 
your present day issues, your challenges, your frustrations and your complaints, everything. Just get it all, just do a brain dump of everything that's not working for you. And then once you've done that section one, you never look at it again, all right? You don't look at it again because that's your all your negativity. Then section two is where are you going? Now from this section on, your daily report or whenever you wanna write in it, because sometimes I don't do a daily thing, sometimes I miss days out and I write when I'm really inspired. Other people I know write, have to write something, even if it's just one word, they have to write one word or they have to write something in their journal every single day. And then you write all your inspirations, your successes, your insights, your affirmations. If you have an affirmation, write your affirmations, write your achievements, write your uh, inspiring poetry, songs, writings, anything that's going to inspire that's really, really positive, write it every single day. Nothing negative. You've done that. You're not going to do that anymore. All right. And then you write at the end of each day, you write something of gratitude, you write maybe three things that you're grateful for, one thing you're grateful for, 10 things you're grateful for. But at the end of the day, always write down what you are grateful for. And then you'll see magic happen because gratitude is the magic that causes manifestation. You'd be surprised. Okay, so that is the self-care on day one of the seven days to sacred self-care journey. Okay, and hopefully... <laughs> well, this video is going to go up any anyway. So day two, look out for day two tomorrow. Okay, Dick. Now in the um, uh, Live Authentic group, which is this is where it's all happening. Um, if you're not in my Live Authentic group already, pop over to Facebook, search Live Authentic with an exclamation mark. Ask to be let in. I'll let you come and join us. And I'm going to post this. Um, uh, my success journal file in the file. So go in there and you'll be able to download this for your own self and then you'll be able to follow it and just do a video of you saying what you've written in your journal. Or if you don't want to do that, say what journal you've got, okay? Get yourself a nice one that you're really inspired by and let us know the kind of journal that you've got that you're going to be doing these exercises in, okay? So I'm only going to be taking you through seven days in these videos, but I'm going to be continuing to day 28 and I might post some of those um, findings myself um, on my self-care journey. And at the end, I'm going to let you know my three to five things that I actually do every single day, morning and evening, that's just totally for me and looking after me before I look after anybody else. Remember the analogy of the face mask in the um, um, in the airplane. Air, air if it's going to be, you know, it's an emergency. You put the mask on yourself first before you can look after anybody else. The same thing with self care in your work and your care for your family, your friends, your business, whatever it is. Look after you first, then look after anybody else. Okay, doke. So see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic first day. Take care now.